Well, it was terrible. It was terrible. Terrence McMahon recalled his experience on the front lines as a 19-year-old Army soldier landing on Omaha Beach in June 1944. Despite happening nearly 70 years ago, his memories are vivid. Oh, I had lots of my good friends killed as close as you are to me. He and fellow soldiers first tried to get the German-occupied beach by leaving the ship and getting onto landing craft infantry, or LCIs. Two guys on the, on the boat that were going down the side to get in the LCIs, they were killed uh, right in front of me. And, and uh, uh, I, I got halfway down, then I jumped into the water. What began was a 24-hour test of endurance, courage, and faith. Private McMahon was armed with a Thompson submachine gun, a 45, and two knives. He also managed to bring hand grenades. The Army gave you a little canvas for water. Well, I threw that out, and I put three hand grenades in there. And, and I used every one of them within about two hours I was in there. McMahon is sharing his war experience for an upcoming book about Scranton ordained priest Fabian Flynn, who served as a World War II chaplain. University of Scranton Assistant Professor of History Sean Brennan is writing that book. They weren't in the same division, but they were in roughly the same theaters, the same battles. And in order to learn about what Flynn's task was like to provide spiritual guidance to soldiers, you have to know about what life was like for the soldiers and what they went through. McMahon earned two Purple Hearts and a Bronze Star during his deployment to Omaha Beach and the Battle of the Bulge. For what we had and what we did and what we got this country was, was, was wonderful. It was wonderful. Lots of people pay their life, but uh, we, we, we did a great job. In Clark Summit, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. In Clark Summit, Mark Hiller, Fox 56 News, first at 10.